hey, haunted house, haunted forest type building people. I made some walls in my haunted forest um, using something different than tarps and stakes, which is good. And I'm going to have some of those in here. But also this year, I'm going to have a new feature, which uh, features a cornfield. So what I did is I took the stakes, you know, these stakes that you get at Menards. These five foot ones are like $1.27 each. And I, they have some rubber on them and then, you know, they're, they're metal in the middle. So you can pound them into the ground. They're pretty sturdy. And so I pounded a bunch of them into the ground. And then I bought some corn stalks. Again, I got those at Menards. Or you can get them wherever you get them, of course, obviously. So anyway, and then I zip-tied the corn stalks to the stakes. And I made a little mini cornfield. You can do it as deep as you as you like. You know, you don't have to do it too deep because it's going to be dark on the night. And what the people will do that come to the haunted forest at our place is they'll walk down the cornfield. It's like a wall. They can't see. Of course, there may be zombies in there. Who knows? There may be demonized scarecrows. I don't know. But then when they come down here, they come to a little doorway that they get led into and they go in the doorway of the cornfield as you can see these aren't these don't have husks on them yet no corn stalks yet because you know I want you to be able to see how I did it anyway so they'll go down the corn wall they'll go in the corn door and then they'll go into the tent and boy does it get scary from here those are my props in there for now but they'll all be up on Halloween. It's cool.